Hi guys, welcome back again to the Easy Kitchen. Today we're going to make fish, spinach or contemporary stew. If you would like to know how I made this, stay tuned. Audio Jungle Welcome back guys, so these are my fresh fish, my porgy fish, these fishes, they are so tasty and very cool on the pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to season my fish with just one teaspoon of adobo, make sure I mix it up very well and then let it marinate for about 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, I'm just going to add about one and a half cups of cooking oil, my mazola cooking oil to my pan and let it be hot before I fry my fishes. To give my fish more flavor, I'll be adding just about a little amount of thyme, fresh thyme and three cloves of garlic to the oil so that it can all fry together with the fish. This gives it a very distinctive and unique taste and smell. And then I'll fry my fish each side for about five minutes before I turn them over. So now that my fishes are well fried, I'm going to take them out and then take away the bent garlic and thyme and then go ahead with my stew. So what I'm going to do next is add just a little bit of Kobe to my oil to give it more distinctive taste and smell. You can choose to use Momoni if you would like. And then I'm going to add one medium sized onions that I have sliced into thin slices. So what I'm going to do next is to blend my medium sized onion, ginger, garlic, Jamaican hot peppers, and my tomatoes then then pour them into my oil and then stir it and cover and let it cook for about 30 minutes So about 30 minutes later, my stew is semi-cooked, so I'm now going to add my seasonings. I'm going to add one Maggi cube, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of adobo, a tablespoonful of powdered shrimp. Stir and let it cook again for an additional 15 minutes. So 
So next I'm going to whip six eggs together and then pour them into my stew. Separate them and cover and let them cook for about five minutes before I stir and add my spinach. So I'm adding my chopped spinach that I microwaved for two minutes. Remember if you are using the original contumery, you have to chop it and cook between three and five minutes. You don't want to lose the nutrients by overcooking. So this I'm just going to allow to simmer for about five minutes for everything to cook very well together. And then I'm going to add my fish back into the stew let it simmer for two minutes and that'll be it. So guys, my stew is all done. So let me go ahead and boil my plantains. I'll be using two plantains. I'm just going to peel them, scrape the skin off and boil for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to set it. Don't forget to put your plantains or apim in cold water after they've boiled so that it will become very, very tasty. Anase Eberson song. Don't forget to put the plantain in cold water. So guys, look at our food. Is this not so easy, delicious and fast? Thank you so much for spending time with me in the Easy Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed our cooking today. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And please follow me on Instagram at the Easy underscore Kitchen and on Facebook at the Easy Kitchen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to be awesome today. Have a great and wonderful day. Bye.